Zan. I'm a developer advocate at CircleCI. Today I want to tell you about the new feature in our CI CD platform and that's webhooks support. In this video I'll explain what webhooks are, how they work, both in general and also for a CI CD specific use case, what new possibilities this unlocks for developers using CircleCI, and how you can get started. Webhooks are the glue of the modern web. They allow for communication between services and APIs. In a way, you can think about them as the reverse of APIs. Developers using CircleCI can set up and use webhooks to interact with job completion and work completion events in a project. The main difference between webhooks and APIs is that APIs are a pull experience and webhooks are a push experience for a developer. A client requests data from the API. If the client wants more data or check for whether that data has been updated, they need to make another request and potentially make more requests periodically. With a webhook, on the other hand, a service or a client is set up so that it's a webhook endpoint and you give that endpoint to the other service. That other service, in our case that's CircleCI, will call your webhook endpoint when an event happens that you are interested in. Many places on the web use webhooks from GitHub integrations, Discord chatbots, Slack and many many more. What can developers build with webhooks? CircleCI lets you set up webhooks for workflow and job completion events in a project, which will trigger when it has terminated, either successfully or unsuccessfully. In a CI-CD context, webhooks lets you build all kinds of integrations like dashboards and data logging, project management tools, as well as notifying your downstream clients of new versions they need to update to. You can either set up webhooks on a single project or for multiple projects and then aggregate their events and process them in your backend in the way that works for your use case. Now that we've covered the basics, let's see how to implement a webhook on our own. It's currently possible to set up a new webhook for an individual project using the CircleCI web interface. To do so, go to project settings and select webhooks from the left hand side. Click on add webhook and fill in the form. Give it a name. Pass in the URL and select which events you wish to trigger. I'm selecting workflow completed here. Select certificate validation and secret token if you wish to validate the integrity of webhooks. Once done, click add webhook to store it. The webhook sends the payload as the post request body to the endpoint that you specified when you were setting it up. The payload we're looking at here is for workflow completed, and it gives us some details on that workflow, like its name, status, timings, as well as project and pipeline the workflow belongs to, the commit it's associated with, and the trigger that started the pipeline execution. The value of pipeline trigger will be webhook for VCS commit requests. Other possible options are currently API or schedule. Note that all objects in the webhook contain unique ID fields which you can use to query the CircleCI API should you need more context about the payload. We've seen what the payload is, now let's look at how to handle it. Any server that can accept incoming HTTP requests will do. Here I'm using Node.js with Express. There's three things to do here. Check the integrity of the webhook using the secret that we supplied during setup. Respond to the request. Anything other than a 200 success response within a few seconds will be treated as a failed webhook and CircleCI will try the request again. And of course, we need to handle the payload and process it however we need for our application. Checking for webhook's integrity is really important, as your webhook endpoints can usually receive events from anywhere on the web who knows the endpoint address. As we cannot control where requests are coming from, it's important to make sure you're not letting malicious requests in. For that, webhooks allow secret validation. When setting up a new webhook, we should pass in a secret value. In the example from before, we used super secret 1234. Circle CI will Use that to create a digested webhook request body and set it in the CircleCI-Signature header. We validate requests by creating a digest of the body on our own by following the same steps and comparing the two values. If both values are the same, we can assume it's really coming from CircleCI. Once you're able to receive and process webhooks, you can build many types of integrations with them. I have created a sample dashboard that shows the status of workflows as they're coming in using Vue and Express. Webhooks are a powerful new way to integrate CircleCI with the rest of your business. 
from dashboards to project tracking to notifications, there are many things you can build with them. In this video, you have learned how to get started setting up a webhook yourself that notifies you when a workflow has completed. We've also covered some of the best practices for handling webhooks reliably and securely. You can find the source code for the project on GitHub and learn more in the CircleCI docs. Links are on your screen and in the video description. I hope you find webhooks useful in your own projects.